anymore. Let's go. And so, like, you, it's hard to feel bad for the bear because, like, you see how much of an, e of an evil dictator Hitler kind of person he is before. So you can't really feel bad for him now. And so, the clown, yeah, we were all... I was expecting that. Like, I was expecting a kind of clown doll to be opposite, you know, all sad and, and depressing. And so, like, back at the daycare center, we see, um... I'm gonna stop this for a moment. You see, um... Uh, the toys, and, like, of course, Woody comes back to, to help him escape, and that whole little, um... A rolling telephone toy thing. I originally thought that he was gonna be like a traitor, like he was gonna like tell lots of what they were doing, and I love that whole uh, like spy thing, make it through the walls, the thing, and the monkey. You gotta get rid of the monkey. I love uh, the monkey. Kind of freaked me out at first, cause like, yeah, anytime uh, he saw a toy leaving, he went, ah, cow, cow, cow. and that really freaked me out. So like, I was not expecting the monkey to be an evil toy, you know, like in the beginning when you see him, when you see Bonnie cuddling the monkey, you don't, I didn't expect him to be an evil toy, but he is, so, so anyway, Woody and the toys decided to come up with a plan to change the buzz back and uh, escape from the daycare center and without lots of even noticing. So their plan was to escape through the garbage can. God, I now I don't I don't want to like tell you the entire plot from I just feel like I'm telling you a short version of the plot and you already know it so you should know it so. oh um let me just break aside from the story for a few seconds and talk about the movie in general um, Toy Story 3 of course it's a kids movie sorry swallow fly there but I love the fact that when I went to the movie theater it was like it's the only kids movie you'll see that has more teenagers sorry bug has more teenagers than kids actually because everybody grew up with Toy Story heck I even when I heard that Toy Story 3 was coming out I said I have to see that movie because even when Toy Story 2 came out and as soon as it ended I was wondering are they gonna make a Toy Story 3 when they're gonna make it who would have known we would have had to wait like over five years for them to make another sequel, it's like, have you ever seen that old movie, um, a series of unfortunate events? You know that they can't really make a sequel because all the kids grew up now, and so like, I didn't think it was a dead end movie. I'll make, if you want, I'll do a review on that movie later. So, anyway, and so, of course, the toys halfway escaped. They're about to be in the trash can, and so let's let's soak and the other evil toys, but they're not really evil, they're just working for him, cut them off. Anyway, they're about to be captured by Lotso, and so Woody convinces everybody that that Lotso's evil, but an evil bear, that um, he he fooled everyone into thinking that no, no kid would ever love him again, and so it's just better to treat every other new toy like crap, and put them in the rainbow room with the um, crazy kids. And so Lutso falls into the trash. I totally saw that coming when uh, the little green alien guy got stuck in the, in the dumpster and Woody goes to save him and Lutso reaches out his hands and grabs Woody's leg and pulls him inside the trash. But, and as soon as you see the garbage truck, I, I really thought Sid was going to come out for another cameo, but no, just another garbage truck. Oh well. Anyway. So Woody and the toys get taken to the dump, and I thought they were going to escape from there, but no, they have to keep going inside. I thought it was kind of redundant. I just thought, like, you know, have Lutso fall into the trash and be done with it, let him get torn to shreds, but no, Woody has to have a heart and save him. And so, like, you see, as soon as they're headed to that whole fiery, like, all the, all the trash gets melted, which I kind of thought was a bit a bit you know too much you know that whole big area with the fire in the middle oh well a nice like whole like like furnace at the end of the hall would have sufficed but no anyway you see let's so like you see you see him look at the sub button and you think oh bad guy turned good 
And of course, you you were expecting two ways to go. They would have stopped him, and that's what becomes good, and you don't know what's going to happen to him then. Or he decides to double cross and escape. And the ending of Let's So, I, I really didn't like, because, you know, who really puts toys in front of the dumpster? I was either expecting Sid to come and, like, you know, think, hey, uh, I either give it to my kid, who is another toy torturer, or maybe just, like, um... I don't know, like maybe the same thing that happened to Stinky P at the end of Toy Story 2, like give him to a child that's going to treat him like crap. No, I, I The whole stuck to a, the front of a truck thing. I don't know, like, do you really think that's a good, a good end to a villain? Well, I didn't think so, but, you know, he's not going to bother anyone again, so... And they don't really die at the end of the movie either. Because, you know, when you look at the villains of the Toy Story films, they don't really they either get scarred, literally or emotionally. Or, you know, they don't get killed off. So I can see why they didn't kill the bear in the whole Shredder thing. And so at the very end, Andy decides to give um, all the toys, including Woody, to Bonnie, the girl. Which I really... I didn't see it coming, but I didn't want that to happen. Because I was ready to to admit, yeah, Woody's going to go off to college with Andy and the toys are going to stay with Bonnie, because I would have been happy there. I was ready to accept that fact. But no, Andy has to give away Woody. It's not fair. But then again, once you look at it, like, what's Andy going to really do with Woody at college? And lo, I started to fantasize during the movie, like, what would happen if Andy actually took Woody to college? Like, maybe Sid is Andy's roommate, and so, like, you know, conflict there. Or maybe, I don't know, Woody's not really going to meet any, but any toys at college. No children's toys at college, I mean, so, you know, who knows what happens there. Anyway, then, yeah, it was pretty... It was a good ending. I'll I'll get that. I'll give you that. Like, you know, all the toys are together. They're playing with Bonnie, and they'll grow up. And I don't know what Bonnie's gonna do with them when she gets older. But that's another story. And at the very end, during the credits, you see the little snippets that tie that tie all the storylines together. You know, Barbie and Ken are happy at at Sunnyside, and um, that whole Buzz and Jesse love thing. Uh, I really didn't. I, I could have done without it, but you know, it was cute to see Buzz and Jesse like doing the tango and dancing all that stuff. I, I liked Buzz's Spanish side. And um, Zerg, I was not expecting Zerg to be at Sunny's side. But yeah, you know, if they did make a fourth movie, which I really doubt, then Zerg would probably be, be the main villain. Or not, you know, who knows. And so that wraps it up. And I really thought it was a great movie. Like, and when you, if you've seen the behind the, the scenes featurettes on the Disney Channel, you'll see that there's a lot of guest stars in the movie. Like, Whoopi Goldberg plays the purple octopus, and Bonnie Hunt plays the doll, the dolly named Dolly. Uh, Jeff Garland plays a unicorn, and all other guest characters in that. And you learn to appreciate that. Well, I do. Anyway. So that's my review. I hope you like it. Um, I'm I do plan on doing other movie reviews, and I have done two so far. One for my my friend Gino's short film. You can check it out with well, more of my videos, and my incomplete Iron Man two movie review, which I don't know if I plan on doing. Like I don't pe think people will even care if I finish it or not. So, like maybe one day when I'm like famous or something like that, I'll finish it and let you guys, if you really care what I think about it. I do plan on doing other projects soon that, you know, you know, you'll see what I mean, because I really think you'll like it. So, if you want to see more of my movie reviews or, you know, me doing random stuff, subscribe. So, I'll see you guys later, and have a good day, YouTube. This is Jekyll.